Holy shoot, the next episode's the finale already? Ruh row. Hi taters, welcome back for another episode of Daisy of Love. So London came back last episode and it changed everything. Um, this is weird. Yeah, no, no. Some of you commented on the last episode that according to an interview he did, he was homeless and that's why he went back to Daisy. Apparently also um, he knocked up a lady during that break. Huh? Of course, this is all things we know in retrospect, and we didn't know during watching the original airing in 2008. So, just a little fun, just a little fun stuff that we know now. Ugh, <sighs> London better not do her dirty. Let's keep watching and see what happens. It's the final four, again. I can't help to wonder who's gonna be in the finals with me. You wanna get back in this house? Give me a shot at Tabasco, dude, and maybe we'll think about it. I'm a shot glass. The guys that fought their way to be here will not let London slide in there easily. Oh, Let's initiate this boy back in this place. Flex is pissed off, and I mean, I do get it, but it's not up to them. I'm not here for them. I'm not here for them. I'm here for a place to live. I'm here for Daisy. Here we go, London. Show us all you want to be here. I love that they're giving him such a hard time because he certainly deserves it. If anything, I'm actually more confident about my position by the fact that these guys are so upset. But of course, adorable little Daisy yeah. wants to smooch on his face so bad. She freaking like loves this guy. I have feelings for you. I couldn't shake it when I left. If Tell that's me. what you feel, what the fuck did you leave? because I'm a fucking jackass sometimes, but I'm like working on it. Sometimes when we're talking, I just feel like we get each other. Daisy, no. Daisy, back away from the London. Keep hands that's all. You have to prove that to I know, I do, I do. I you have to, have to fucking prove it to me. Okay. You need to stop making out with him and let him prove himself, which I doubt he can do. <laughs> I hate the guy. <laughs> I have fucking Prove it to me. It just already seems like he's your choice, and I don't like that for you. Sinister apparently hops the fence to get Daisy some flowers. Gathering up some flowers for her. I lose one of my rings that I've had for like 12 years. That is what London should be doing to prove himself worthy of our Daisy. Damn it. <laughs> Give me whatever you want me to do to prove it, I'll do it. Okay, then eat this flower right now. <laughs> I have to eat it for real. I always took a size of basket right for real. Eat the flower I just lost the, my most important ring for. She's doing sinister dirty yet again. I'm done with this shit. Mm. She starts flirting with London with him. And that just makes me real angry. Daisy is like blind to the other guys when London is around. And it's so sad, honestly. Flex and Dave decide to go away from this place. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? But as we've seen in past episodes, Sinister loves to throw mantrums when things don't go his way. I got punk rock for you right here. I don't even really feel bad for him anymore. Fucking punk. Sinister is throwing a temper tantrum right now because London's back and... I could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's gonna make Daisy like you. Also, my star on my tree might be doing weird things during this video. Uh, maybe because it's an LED light and those blink weird on camera, but it's not blinking. It's solid when I look back at it, so just try to ignore that. <laughs> I know. No one's stopping me. I know. No one's stopping me. Oh! Sinister is going to work over here. It's pretty cute. He's pissed throwing furniture and breaking stuff. Like, what the hell? I think he knows that. Maybe his time is coming. Yeah! He throws something and he hits the camera. Did they hit the camera? Seriously? Oh, my, hit... God. oh my god! Oh my god! He fucking hit the camera! I'm definitely going home now. What even? I'll be surprised if he doesn't go home. The next day, Sinister's torso grew 12 inches longer. I'm terrified right now because I haven't talked to Daisy. I don't know how she feels about that stunt I pulled last night. Um, she probably didn't love it, dude. I feel like such a jerk for doing that now, but then I feel like I should be able to express my feelings and people should be able to understand it, so <laughs> I'm just so confused. London reads Daisy's diary to us. Dear diary, I'm so nervous. There are only four guys left in the house and only two tickets to the finale. With such little time left, it seems like I've only focused on my future with the guys and I totally forgot to look into their pasts. Oh, 
snap, it's time for the exes to come. This is always a fun one. Now, if I remember correctly, my ex-girlfriend came when I live in New York. My parents flat out think he's gay. And I was thrown out of the house the second she came through the door, so I'm keeping my mouth closed. My past relationships weren't the best, and I wasn't the best guy in them. And it's weird how he's still not the best guy, acting like a little baby and all. So you're telling me you're still not the best guy? That is correct. I'm terrified right now because I feel like there's some unresolved situation between me and my ex, Ashley. <laughs> Everyone's got stuff in their past that they don't want someone to know about. <laughs> this should be interesting as fuck. Let's move on down to the living room where we have Daisy and Richmond, Virginia. Looking lovely as always. Today is the day that we are going to separate your past from our future. There will be an elimination. I oh, fuck, only have room for two of you guys to continue on with me. Whoa, snap, what a fun little twist. Only two guys will be staying. Chaos. Insanity. This is why we watch it. This is why we watch it. I care about all four of these guys so much, but like I can only take two guys to the finale with me. So guys, Let's bring out those special guests. Let's meet the exes. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Sinister, here is your ex, Ashley. All right, Sinister's ex looks like she would date Sinister. Even though I've been honest, I haven't been precise on my past. How are you? 12 pack, here is your old flame, <laughs> Cass. 12-pack goes way back with his ex, so that might be a good sign. I've known Kathy since the sixth grade, and she knows some pretty embarrassing stuff about me. Flex, your ex, Kia. Flex's ex is named after a car. That's all I got from that. <laughs> Sorry if your name is Kia, but I doubt it is. As soon as he says Kia's coming out, my heart hits the floor. Even though our relationship was amazing, she still knows a little bit of dirt on me, so... I don't know what's gonna happen. London's freaking friend shows up, and I think that's not fair. And the guys agree with me. She's my buddy. We have like a brother and sister kind of relationship. Yeah, let's get this kid. I'm surprised you guys pull hot chicks. <laughs> she's not an ex, she's just a friend. We're all standing there with our exes, and London has a girl that he's friends with. This is not a fair game. It reminds me of Rock of Love when Amber's ex was just her friend, and then Amber went on to win, so. Is this foreshadowing? I don't actually know. I don't remember who wins. So <laughs> I was kind of genuinely asking. <laughs> I want to thank you all, ladies, for coming. I think that we have a lot of catching up to do. Daisy's going to hang out with the exes. And get that dirt. Kathy, so how long you were with 12-pack in high school? We, like, hooked up a few times just in high school. I've known Dave, you know, forever, and I could sit here and I could say really bad things about him, but Wait. honestly... Rip the bong man is on Team Dirt. Look it. Boring. If you had a dinner with my exes, they would all tell you how they <laughs> wanted me to burn in hell. But I want some honesty. Do any of these guys currently... Have a girlfriend. He asks a question to get the drama rolling. He might be dating someone. Seriously, London? Bingo. I don't know how serious they are. But they are, they're dating. Well, hanging out. Yeah. I'm just getting to the point where I'm starting to trust London a little bit. And then I find this crap out. Go home, London. I don't know, should I say this or not? N He's yes. A sex addict. I mean, he needs to, he needs to be with a chick constantly. Okay, he always needs to be with a chick. Okay, that's what I want to know. That's a tough one. I mean, I love the sex part, but a little worried about the attic part. Flex's ex, the one named after a car, might still be in love with Flex. Our breakup was really hard for me, personally. He was, he was my first love, so like, probably for the last two years, I was still like in love with him. <laughs> Damn. Kia's trying to play it cool, but she's not exactly the best at it. I think Flex actually broke her heart. How do you know 12-pack? I've known him since middle school. 12-pack's ex seems to care about him and makes him sound like a great guy. Did he used to have like a lot of chicks? Yeah. I would think he would. I get it. Well, especially now since he's, you know, done like a lot of the TV and everything, but it doesn't really phase him. You know what I mean? Like even when he comes home, it's still old Dave to me. It's not, it doesn't get to his head. I've liked 12 pack this whole show, honestly. I think I'm kind of rooting for him to win. I liked Kathy right away. She seems really genuine and has nothing bad to say about 12 pack slash Dave. And I think I believe her. I want to move on to Sinister now. We're together for 
about six months. Daisy thinks Sinister's ex isn't telling the whole truth. He didn't necessarily do anything wrong, um, which is why we're, we remain friends still. How do you feel about him? Sinister's ex Ashley seems a little defensive. I feel like she might be holding something back. Okay, let me break this down. Please, bitchy back hair, you have the floor. Flex is a heartbreaker that plays creepy head games. 12 Pack, oh, he's the most perfect guy around. London could be a sex maniac and may even have a girlfriend still. This has been very enlightening. Oh, hold on though. Sinister's ex wants to chat one-on-one -on -one with Daisy. Oh man, this can't be good. I knew she was holding back. Does he get kind of rough ever? We were out together one time. I was drinking, he was drinking. I don't know if it was an accident or what, but he hit me in the face. Sinister, what a punk ass bitch. It hit, hit me in the face and I just sat back and I was just like, I just stared at him like, oh my God, like, are you, are you serious? Has anything I, like that ever happened before? No, it only happened one time, which is why, why I wanted to ask. And now I literally wish she would have kept Chi Chi over Sinister. Looking back, he seemed like an angel, even though he could be creepy sometimes. He was way better than this guy. Thank you very much for letting me know that. I'm, I'm sorry if that was hard. I'm shocked to hear this because Sinister seems like such a sweet guy. But at the same time, I have seen his temper and I am Definitely concerned. Now Daisy wants to have each of the guys and their exes have a psychic reading from Daisy's personal psychic, Lori. I'm gonna have my BS meter on full blast. Let's see what Lori can find out. I'm definitely scared of being hurt because I've been hurt before. Is there anything in here that says that he could hurt me? No, actually you're the one who could hurt him. Basically between the two of you, you're in charge. Dang, Daisy is the one that'll be doing the hurting when it comes to Dave. Makes sense, he's like never pushy with her. He's always been pretty sweet and they do seem to have a natural connection and attraction. The psychic tells us if one of you two is gonna hurt one or the other, I'm the one that's gonna get hurt. I've been hurt so many times in the past that it's tough to give myself to somebody because I honestly feel that I'm just gonna get hurt again. Flex and his ex's turn. What happened between you guys four months ago? We went out, we tried to like rekindle a flame. I don't know, it just didn't happen. You told me all this shit that, that like you still love me and all this stuff. Called you and texted you, no answer. It really, really like hurt me. And it just brings out all kinds of stuff for them and kind of gets awkward, I guess. But hey, we wanted dirt. It kind of felt like me and Ricky were like the psychiatrist of a marriage counselor. Our relationship was great. There was nothing wrong with anything that happened with us. I had a blast. It was a great time. I'm not in love with you, but I will love you right. always. I have no doubt that Kia still has feelings for Flex. Time for London and his pal. Good stuff going on here. When we're talking about love here, or we're talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. I think you love women. Yes. I mean, yeah, thank you. I, I mean, you appreciate women. He appreciates women. Maybe he shouldn't be in a committed relationship then. You appreciate that there is another op opposite sex on the planet for I'm, you. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> sex addict. Hold on, before you say something, I want to I want to say something that okay. uh, really pretty much bothered me. Okay. Oh yeah, Daisy, call him out, girl. I asked if any of the guys had girlfriends. She pretty much alluded to the fact that you were dating someone at the moment. Before I came here, you know, I was seeing somebody, but who of us like really aren't seeing somebody? But I was seeing somebody before I came here. Okay, are you seeing them now? Well, right now I'm seeing you. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody, but like I'm not seeing somebody. We're all seeing somebody at the end of the day, right? I I see you. What about when you went back? When I, you I saw her left? when I went back. I wasn't planning on coming back. I didn't expect to be back here now. Does this other girl know that you're here? Like what? What's yeah. up? Okay. And how does she? How does she feel about that? I didn't plan this. You know I didn't plan this. This just turns into like annoying bickering. If I send your ass home tonight, you're gonna go back to that other girl. But that means you don't want me. So if you send me home, what do you want me to do? Just like you know, sit in bed and cry? <gasps> These no, Listen, no. But I'm not going back to somebody God. else. It's no. not my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be great for each other. I'm so fucking sorry. Send his ass home before he breaks your heart. I'm not. I'm not an angel. I'm not. But I'm also not like a scumbag. I left because I thought it was all fake. That's what I was telling you before. Is like I didn't think there was anything real there. And he's being heart on the table here. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Don't help them. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> He's here because of you. I am. This is the karma card. There is a connection between the two of you. Of everybody that we've seen so far, this is the one that I think you have the strongest connection with. 
he gets that one person that grabs his heart, this man will not cheat. He's no good, he's no good, he's no good. Lori, he's no good. Um, so London is a homeless sex addict who my psychic thinks is perfect for me. Go figure. Okay, Sinister's turn. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm getting some very strong guides around you and they are just saying, bad boy. You would have to compromise a lot more. When you want to do things, you're just going to do them. And if she says, no, I don't think you should do that, it won't make a difference what she says. Yeah, it's not sounding ideal. He smashed a guitar and was just outraged for Do you know why you were mad? First of all, I lost my ring that I've had for 12 years. And then you like started to flirt with London with the flowers that I gave you, and you're like touching his face and grabbing him and telling him to eat them. Daisy did act a little rudely when he gave her flowers, but there's still no reason to ever lose your temper like that. She told me about an incident you smacked her in the mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just played, and I played back too rough. I totally believe that you would not hit anybody on no. purpose. That is not who you are. I just really hope they understand that that was a big misunderstanding. I don't know if you can call a smack on the mouth a misunderstanding? Do you think it would have, we would have a successful relationship? I'm sorry, coldly, I would say no. Heck yeah, Lori. <laughs> Lay it out. Just say, best words of the day. Say, okay. tell me. 12 pack, London, flex, sinister. Lori tells me that sinister is probably the worst guy for me to date. Dude, now I am more confused than ever. Maybe I should just let her do eliminations tonight instead of me. So now the guys are drinking it up with their exes and having a good time. Kind of weird, but okay. To Daisy. The mixer, everybody's having a blast. We're all getting crunk and hanging out with, with their exes. Kia tells Flex about London's girl back home. So they get a nice little game of telephone going to spread the news. Look on his face is the same as mine. We are fucking ecstatic. Here comes Daisy and little Nikki to literally dig a little deeper into that lovely pile of dirt. Now that we've got everybody together, I want each girl tell me why they think their guy here with their ex. London has a girlfriend still, Where so get from? I'm just checking. That's all I'm trying to say. Flex uses this opportunity to call out London. Fuck that for one second. Oh, wow, you all angry? Here comes the drama. Say what Who is your I girlfriend? I have a girlfriend, dude. <laughs> just because he's <laughs> fucked the girl doesn't mean he's a girlfriend. <laughs> I, I just... Let me get my fucking friend here, and then First we'll fucking see who's fucking awesome talk, in this fucking house. Like you kidding me? Fuck brother. you, Lord. What the fuck are you gonna yeah. do? Oh, but Flex unfortunately is taking the anger level to an 11 teen. Dude, dude fucking knock Tennessee. it off, man. No. I already made a fool of myself last night, so I'm just gonna sit here and be cool and like let these guys talk themselves right through elimination. Of course, Sinister thinks that this is gonna give him a free pass, but um, I don't think so, buddy. Stop, stop. Stop. the fuck off, Flex. I'm fucking half your size, dude. Stop. Less than that. You wanna stop. fucking be stop. cool by knocking me out? Let it, let it. Do it. Y'all yeah. need to calm the heck down. You're scaring Daisy. This needs to stop. Uh, it's cool, it's fine. But then, like a light in the darkness, Kia Sorrento takes a tumble and lightens the mood a little. Kia reaches over the table and knocks over all the vodka. I don't care if she did a face plant to the table. I'm like, not the vodka. Dang, you're cut off. Come here, come here. You're fine. Come here. Well, it's time to say bye bye to the exes. But first, Daisy asks Kia a sweet question. If it doesn't work out with me and Flex, do you want to be back with him? How he looked at you, it's like how he looked at me the first time. When Kia said that, it made me look at Flex in a totally different way. Now Daisy's wondering why Dave is being quiet, and he just lets it all out. <laughs> I think London's a great dude. You know what? If he's dating someone, then you decide if you want to get involved, OK? As far as Sinister's concerned, I don't even know which girl was here with Sinister. I think Flex is a great <laughs> dude, but it looked like he was about to make out with his ex-girlfriend the entire night tonight. Now everybody's fighting. Whatever it's worth like to you, Daisy. Some people didn't have to throw anybody, make anybody else look bad to make themselves look good. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. No, That's I know. So fuck fucking off. say whatever you want. Everyone worry about themselves. All I'm just saying is that like, and where you're at because with my me. friend was now your ex-girlfriend, like, your friend. So imagine what I felt like. Literally everyone's talking at the same time, so I can't even keep track of what's being said. I'm here for you, okay, so like, if someone wants to say shit, that's fine. Shut the fuck up and listen to what she's got to say, you dumbass. Fucking shut she's up, She's trying to Flex. tell you. They're seriously back at it again, just when I thought this episode was coming to a close. They're right back at it with the screaming and yelling. Well, if someone calls me a fag, what am I going to do? Just fucking sit there and be People like, I call you a People have called me fucking so much shit under the sun, I don't yeah, give a fuck. Me too. I don't give I a shit. I do not care. These guys are 
out of control yelling at each other. And this is my freaking house. I'm gonna take control right now. You boys need to listen to Daisy now. This is her show. I'm gonna ask you all a question. I need you to shut the fuck up right now. You go, girl, yes. Daisy asks the guys who they think should be in the finale with them. 12 pack. Why? Because I hate him to death, but at least he's got his shit down. Sinister? I'm gonna say 12 pack. London, same question. I think 12 pack's real, dude. They all say 12 pack, and I agree. And guess what? So does Daisy. So 12 pack, you're coming to the finale with me. Great. Really? And it's confirmed. Dave is going through to the finale. That was nice and easy. Now make it even easier and send London and Sinister home. You got this. I can't believe that I am in the final two. Like, I just, I, I can't believe this. And the rest of you, I will see you at elimination tonight. Oh, okay. She's making them wait until elimination. So let's do it. What the fuck? Some of my flaws got aired. I hope she doesn't take it as me having a girlfriend because it's not the case. Like, I don't. When Daisy told me that I was going to the final two, I didn't even know what to think. Like, I am speechless that I am going to be one of the last two guys in this house. It's unbelievable. Rascal McMasterson is ready to get down to business. I know for a fact all four of you guys have feelings for Daisy. Two of you guys are going to go home. Ultimately, it is Daisy's decision. 12-pack, you are going to Maui with me tomorrow. Damn, big reveal. The finalists and Daisy will be going to Maui. How do you feel about that, 12-pack slash Dave? Uh, it's, it's incredible. I don't even know. I'm going to Maui. Yeah. That leaves me with one ticket and a really, really hard choice. All right, Daisy, you got this, girl. She starts off by talking to London. Surprisingly, I found out you were dating someone else. I'm here for you. I'm here because you're the only person that I want to be with. And doesn't even talk to Sinister or Flex. What in the... Did they edit that out or something? That doesn't seem fair at all. I know that I have really really strong feelings for you. I am also as equally as scared that you're gonna hurt me. But I wanna take that chance and I want you to come to Maui with me. No! She chose London to be a finalist. Yes, London's been seeing someone else recently. But hey, technically, I've been seeing 19 other people recently. So, I mean, that whole thing about people throwing stones at glass houses or whatever, kind of, Something? Flex and Sinister are sad boys now. You know what, guys? There's something that I have to do. I know it's against what I said this morning, but I know it's what's right. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I have absolutely no idea what's happening right now. What are you doing to us, woman? Sinister, please come down here. I cannot deny that I have a stronger connection with those guys up there. I'm so, so sorry, Trip. You deserve much better than that, and I really, truly hope that you find what you're looking for, and I'm sorry that it couldn't be with me. Wow. Daisy is sending home Sinister, and only Sinister. Flex. Our connection has grown so much that you have got me spinning. I'm not ready to end this, so I want you to come to Maui with me too. Holy hell, she's letting Flex come to Maui with them. I was on top of the world. I couldn't believe that she's sending three people to Maui and I'm one of them. After all the twists and turns in the last couple episodes, I'm honestly surprised I didn't see that coming. Dave, London, Flex, get down here and get out your flask. Well, damn, I guess I'll see you in Maui for the finale. Maui, here we come. Aloha. Can you jump in there really quick? Because you weigh about as much as all my clothes. So just jump well. in there really quick. Perfect. And now I'll just take you. <laughs> I'm just taking out the trash. 